You know, we're not guaranteed tomorrow. God promised to give us what we need today. In fact, we are told to not even worry about tomorrow. We only have today. So, let's make the most of it. This is for today. Uh, today, I want to take you to Colossians chapter 1. Uh, Colossians is a letter that Paul wrote to the church at Colossae. And in the beginning of chapter 1, he tells this church in letter form how he's been praying for them. So that's kind of the observed section of this passage. That's what's happening right now. Um, and I just want to read for you uh, what Paul says he is praying over this church. And so from the day we heard, this is verse 9, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so as to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, bearing fruit in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. May you be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He's delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. What, what a prayer uh, Paul has prayed uh, for this church. Um, he wants them to be filled with the knowledge of his will and all spiritual wisdom and understanding. So, so what does that mean? He, he lays it out. Here's what that looks like. So that you will walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, filled with the knowledge of his will, that you'd be thankful to God in all things and that you would bear fruit. Um, thankful to God because he's delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son. Um, this, is a, this is a prayer for a church, but several years ago, the way I applied this to my life personally, uh, this became the prayer for each of my daughters. And um, so each morning, um, I would pray scripture. I, I actually think sometimes that's just the best way to pray, is to grab your Bible and start praying scripture. And uh, so uh, I, would, I would pray that my daughters would walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, that they would be filled with the knowledge of his will and spiritual understanding, that they would bear fruit in every good work and increasing in knowledge of God. May you be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might. I would just pray these words uh, over my daughters. Um, if I were to give you a, just a golden nugget of hope, when you don't know what to pray, one of the best ways to begin praying is to just pray scripture. And Colossians chapter one is a great way to get started with that. If you're looking for a way to pray for your kids, let me just tell you, Colossians chapter 1, verses 9 through 11, maybe a couple of more verses in there. Those are great verses for you to pray for your children today.